Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Kim Brown in Baltimore. One of the most prominent hedge fund managers on Wall Street just caught charges on Wednesday from the Security and Exchange Commission over allegations of insider trading. His name is Leon Cooperman, and aside from being tremendously wealthy, in 2011, he wrote a personal letter to President Obama eschewing the perils of so-called class warfare, basically saying that he thought the president's rhetoric on income inequality was off base. And today, we are joined uh, from Kansas City, Missouri. We're speaking with Bill Black. Bill is an associate professor of Economics and Law at the University of Missouri at Kansas City. He's also a white-collar criminologist and a former financial regulator, plus the author of the book titled The Best Way to Rob a Bank is to Own One, and he's a regular contributor right here on The Real News. Bill, welcome. Thank you again for joining us. Good to be back. All of one day later. That's right. Well, Bill, let's start off with what Cooperman is accused of. The SEC says in 2010 that Cooperman profited illegally when he used his influence as a majority shareholder at a company called Atlas Pipeline Partners to gain non-public information about an upcoming transaction. His, represent his representatives uh, tell CNBC, of course, that these charges are without merit. But by the way, Bill, this sounds a lot like what Martha Stewart was accused of, of sorts. Well, actually, Martha Stewart was not accused of uh, insider trading. She was accused and prosecuted successfully for lying to the FBI about insider trading. So the cover-up uh, was what uh, got her. Um, so but this one um, actually ties to your point. Um, even bef just before he wrote that letter, um, and which went viral among, this is not the 1%, this is the one ten thousandth of 1%. This is the billionaire class. And there are Wall Street Journal stories of the Times talking about how this be went viral among the billionaire class uh, attacking Obama. Well, it turns out, according if the SEC is correct, uh, that he um, may not have been to the manor born, but he was to the manor uh, largely through uh, things like insider trading. So, uh, as you said, he owned a significant position and his hedge fund owned a significant position in an oil and gas uh, company and called Atlas. And his the way he did business was to get really close with the CEOs in this situation, um, of course, so they could get inside information. And the CEO in this case, according to the SEC complaint, gave him critical inside information. And that was that uh, Atlas was about to sell a big chunk of its operations for far more money than people had thought they were worth. And it was going to uh, get bring in $650 million. And uh, Cooperman knew this would cause the stock price to rise dramatically. Uh, and so Cooperman suddenly uh, bought a lot of short-term options to purchase stock, which is a really risky thing to do, but also if, unless you have inside information and know that there not only is going to be something good, but something good's going to happen really quick before your options expire. Uh, and it's also a cheaper way, if you do have inside information, to take a really big position uh, so that you can gain an enormous amount from the insider deal. According to the SEC, um, Cooperman had been selling shares uh, in Atlas for many months and that there's an internal document in which he uses a, 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 a vulgar term to describe how bad uh, Atlas is and that they need to get out of these positions they need to sell, right? And then right after he has this phone call, I mean like minutes after he has this phone call, the CEO in which the CEO, well, we presume it's the CEO, it's an unstated officer, but um, it's very likely the CEO, um, tells him, according to the SEC, we're about to do this deal you cannot talk about this. This is insider confidential information. You need to promise me you won't do any trading on that basis. And Cooperman, according to the SEC complaint, promised 
and then lied. Cooperman's defense is, oh, we did all of this because of sound analytics, but his sound analytics were telling him to sell. It's only when he got the confidential information that he changed 180 degrees what he was doing and suddenly bought. So this is a story that doesn't make uh, any sense. So you have to ask yourself, where's the Department of Justice? Why isn't it prosecuting uh, this, um, if the SEC is right, exceptionally strong case uh, for demonstrating uh, insider trading? And the SEC complaint says, on top of that, there was a cover-up. And this does make it more like uh, Ms. Stewart, uh, in which he, Cooperman, uh, tried to agree on a false story with the presumably CEO uh, in case the SEC came around. Um, and the implication of all that, of course, is that the CEO and other senior officers at Atlas are cooperating with the government and telling them this is the lie that uh, he wanted us to use in unison with him so that he could cover up uh, this scam. Um, and well, I will well, tell you the well, other... well, Bill, hold on. Let me let me interrupt you for a second because I mean Leon Cooperman is a rich man. Um, he he's a billionaire. Like the the company that he owns and operates, um, Omega Advisors, is worth over ten billion dollars. So why would Leon Cooperman need to engage in insider trading? Uh, need is the wrong word. This has nothing to do with need. Um, this is a joke in our family when our daughter would always phrase things in terms of need. Uh, this is pure desire. <laughs> uh, he wants money. He wants to be known as a genius who makes uh, these buys and sells at exactly the right time because he's smarter and works harder and this rag to riches story he likes to tell about himself when the reality, if the SEC is right, is that not just in this deal, but in deal after deal, there's an entire way of doing things is to get close to the CEOs by getting the stock position, talk to them, get insider information, and then, you know, it's like shooting a fish in a barrel uh, for him. Um, so it's both money and it's prestige. And the other thing is, uh, you know, the thing he was really upset about about Obama, of course, is that uh, hedge fund guys are not only billionaires, um, but uh, they get this exceptionally low tax rate that uh, Mitt Romney made famous, right, of 15%. Uh, so they pay literally less than their secretaries pay as a percentage. But tougher times has fallen on the hedge fund industry because it is, A, an industry built primarily on getting insider trading information, and B, on having these extraordinary um, profits. Their fees and their percentage of the wins are much, much bigger than in uh, other, uh, elsewhere on Wall Street. And Wall Street, of course, is not exactly a place that treats people nicely. So the hedge funds are off the charts in how badly they turn investors, and this year, uh, there have been hundreds of billions of dollars in withdrawals uh, from uh, hedge funds, and people are starting to go, why are we getting gouged this way? So um, the, people like Cooperman are also are afraid that the, the days and they can get away with everything um, are uh, diminishing, and so they want to get that last uh, extra um, tens of millions of dollars. The letter that he wrote to President Obama in 2011, let me read you a quick excerpt of it. Quote, with due respect, Mr. President, it is time for you to throttle down the partisan rhetoric and appeal to people's better instincts, not their worst, rather than assume that the wealthy are a monolithic, selfish, and unfeeling lot who must be subjugated by the force of the state. Set a tone that encourages people of goodwill to meet in the middle. Uh, Bill, what is the middle that he is speaking of in this letter? The middle for him is that he gets to be a billionaire through insider information, making money the old-fashioned way, cheating, uh, and he gets to keep all that money. He isn't prosecuted. He isn't investigated. 
uh, and uh, he pays a 15% tax rate at most. Well, there's the middle. Well, Bill, we certainly appreciate your time. Thanks uh, for joining us on such quick notice um, about this very interesting topic. Uh, Cooperman, Leon Cooperman, has been charged by the SEC, accused of insider trading. We've been speaking with Bill Black. He's an associate professor of economics and law at the University of Missouri at Kansas City. He's also a white-collar criminologist and former financial regulator, so he knows what he's talking about. And check out his book. It's titled, The Best Way to Rob a Bank is to Own One. Bill, we appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching The Real News.